Welcome to Survival on a Budget Made Easy. I'm revisiting the Blue Ridge Sportsman's Association. We're going to see what all updates they did. More on that right after this. Okay, welcome back to Survival on a Budget Made Easy. Now, we're over here on this side where the campground is. And I, I know they made a lot of improvements over here. Now, I used to do a lot of my camping videos over in this area. But now they actually got like a camper here. And I'm going to call that, that little area there where the canopy is uh, a pavilion or whatever. And they have a little shed there. But a lot of my camping videos were done right where that camper is, right there. And somebody built another little pavilion. They really got the place looking nice. I mean, before there was like a bunch of older trailers. Not that there's anything wrong with them, or I should say older campers that were just kind of falling apart. And it looks like they have a lot more electrical hooks, hookups. Yeah, up there, I don't ever remember there being a camper or anything. You got some more campers over here. Now I'm not sure how much it cost, but these people keep their campers up here year round. But it, it really is a nice little area. I don't remember them having campers over here. That guy over there actually built a little deck for his camper. That's kind of nice. I just got to figure out how to get out of here now. There you go, you got the 360 view. Somebody's got a little outhouse there. Yeah, as far as I know, they do not have water and sewer hookup. I doubt very much if that's changed. Especially after seeing an outhouse. Go down this way. That guy built a, a little roof over his. Then over there, you got the pond. I I'm calling it a pond, they call it a lake, but I think it's a pond.
catch that over to the other side. Now also, I know they made some improvements to the shooting range. I didn't get to see them before I left. They were, they were starting, they just didn't have stuff finished. Alrighty, walk up here. They actually redid the shooting benches. Some really nice green carpet on them. They actually redid the shooting benches. They didn't have, I'm gonna call this carpet on here before. Even did the big table. Now if you look, they got rid of those uh, OSB backstops or target boards, whatever you want to call them, and put wire on them. Now the, the long one, the long range one, still looks like it has OSB on it. But it, they actually got it looking really nice up here. Everything looks nice and clean and well kept. Uh, I'm, I'm really impressed. It really does look nice up here. Not that it looked really bad before, but it actually looks really nice. Okay, let's go ahead, take a look at the inside of the building. Okay. Now, this is like the room where they have bingo. They got a big bingo board up there. And they're still, I think they're still having the bar bingo. You just can't sit at the bar anymore. But they got another board over here. Up in here. Then, uh, for the carnivorous fire set, these type of buffets here. Like, uh, Thursday night had a like wing buffet. They had a pretty nice spread. You used to be able to get, like, I think at least eight different kinds of wings. I don't know if they still have the shuffle board competition or not. They got shuffle board right there. They got another one over here. Now they have those cornhole championships. They'll stick one set of uh, boards down here, and the other set over here somewhere on the, on the floor, not the ceiling. I know I'm pointing that ceiling on the floor. And what's nice about it, like if you have a family, you don't want to take the kids through the bar. You can come in through this door. And there's another door over here, but it's close to the pool room. But they have like their, they have their own little bar here. So it's like more of a family friendly type environment back here. And try, they got a nice big full kitchen too, man. Sneak in here, see if anybody's here. Nice big kitchen, man. It, it trust me, they really have good food. And over here, I can take you back here. They have separate bathrooms. Okay, I'm not just on separate men and women. I'm separate from the bar. Back here is like a little meeting room they have. 
don't know where the light switch is. I'd show you. Right here, okay. Here we go. Right here, they have a little meeting room. Over here. I'm just going to show you the guy's bathroom. Here's my guy. But this is like, you no know, separate from the bar area. And they do keep it, they keep it maintained. They keep it maintained real nice. Okay. Two booze, two stalls. Uh, that one's out of order. Uh, it wasn't like that the other day. It must have just happened. And they do support the local you know, schools, football team, cheerleaders. And they do have targets for you if you don't have targets for the shooting range. You just got to come down and get them. Thermont. That's right down the road. Boy Scouts. I'm sorry. Yeah, Boy Scouts are the Cub Scouts. Oh, Cub Scouts, I'm sorry. I thought it was Boy Scouts. Turn this off. And in the winter, they have these little electric fireplaces to help with the heat. Okay, over here, you got, over here you got your pool tables, you got three of them. They just uh, redid these, I think, within a year or so, put new cloth and stuff on them. They look really nice, they're really nice pool tables, actually. They used to have those gaming machines over there, but the state had a conniption over stuff, so they got rid of those. Over here, over here is the bar area. Touch tones, tables. I'm trying not to show you the bar right now. We'll sneak around and get that later. Do me a favor, click on that subscribe button in one of those upper corners. And as always, thank you for watching.